Hi, it's Mark Zerady, and I'm back with another Linux video. Today I'm going to show you how to change desktop environments in Linux. You've heard me talk about desktop environments. There's KDE, there's LXDE, there's XFCE, there's Mate, there's Cinnamon. There's a lot of different desktop environments there. And a desktop environment is really just the graphic user interface, and they look slightly different than each other. They Some might be a little more lightweight than others. Some might be a little more feature intensive. KDE is really very feature intensive. It has a lot of bells and whistles. And something like LXDE is a little more lightweight, but still very nice to look at. Has some nice features. Something that maybe you want, would want to install on a computer that doesn't have as much memory. Maybe the hardware is a little older. Something like LXDE would be a little more practical. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. And what I have here, as you can see on the screen, is I have an instance of VirtualBox running right now. Because in order to switch from desktop environment to desktop environment, you have to log off and log on. And I can't really do that on the main system because I'll lose my recording ability. So I'm going to show you how to do that in VirtualBox. Um, First, I'm going to show you where it is that you get desktop environments. Let me get out of the way here, and I'll show you. The first place to start for desktop environments would be your package manager. I have Synaptic running now. This is PC Linux OS. And once you open up your package manager by going into root, uh, check my previous videos on how to do that, uh, you will then uh, come over here and reload make sure that everything is synced up. And in PC Linux OS and many other distributions, the desktop environments are thrown into the task area here under, under tasks right here. And you click on that and you can see right now that there is task cinnamon, task KDE, task LXDE, task mate, Task XFCE, these are all different desktop environments and just by installing at the task level, the package manager then grabs all the different packages, all the different software elements, all the different libraries, just downloads them and installs them onto your system so you don't have to go searching around for them yourself. They're all right here in the central area. You might want to check with your Linux community and find out where it is that they have desktop environments uh, in, uh, available in the package manager because everybody does it similar. Some people might have different interfaces to install that. But this is where you do it. Now I've already done that uh, in VirtualBox so we'll just close this and get it out of the way. We'll come back here to VirtualBox and you can see what I have here right now is I'm running KDE, and I'll show you just by clicking on Dolphin here, and you can see that once it comes up, let's go to help, right here, about KDE, and you can see I'm running the KDE desktop environment. Now, uh, I've installed uh, a couple of different desktop environments here in VirtualBox on this Linux distribution here. And we'll just go right into another one. So the way you would do this is click on your launcher menu, go to leave, and log out. And I'm going to say yes, I want to log out. Once it logs out, it'll take me back to my startup screen, my login screen rather, where I can then select my account. But down here, right here, this little arrow here, this is where I can then select the desktop environment. So you can see here it says KDE previous. Well, I want to change that to, let's say, LXDE. So I'll change it right there. Let's show that to you again. LXDE is now dotted and highlighted. So that's what I want. I'm going to type in my username, my select my user account, type in my password for my username, and then hit Enter. Now recall what the KDE desktop looked like, and this will now be LXDE. It'll have some different features, it'll have a different look, different wallpaper, and there it is. And it also launches 
and boots a lot faster than KDE because it's not as top heavy, I guess you would say. It's really more lightweight. And you can see just by the desktop wallpaper that it is lightweight. They highlight that. And of course, the nice thing is, is all your programs are still available. Everything that you had under KDE is still available under LXDE. Uh, so if uh, I have, uh, say, the GIMP uh, running in KDE, here it is available in LXDE. Uh, all my file tools are there. Uh, all my video tools are here. If I'm, for instance, I have the VLC media player. That's available. It's all available right there. And of course, some of these desktop environments have a different approach to customizing it. But we can get into that a little later as we look at each individual one. Let's show you another one right now. Let's log out. Remember what that looks like. That was LXDE. And now we're going to try XFCE. Highlight my username. Type in my password. Enter. And here is XFCE. Again, uh, completely different look, very lightweight, booted very, very fast, and it has a lot of different things um, available. For instance, instead of using Dolphin as your file manager in KDE, this one uses a file manager called Thunar. Gives you a different look, uh, an idea, all overall different feel. But all your programs, all your files in your user account are still accessible. It's just not using the KDE desktop environment. And this could be a, a lot of fun. Uh, you can put it on, uh, say, laptop or notebook or even some of those uh, small micro notebooks. Um, and because they're very lightweight, they run very fast. They don't require as much memory. So that's what desktop environments look like. That's a quick look at it. That's how you get in and get out of them. They are terrific to use. So depending on what kind of uh, hardware setup you have, you can download uh, a Linux distribution that is geared specifically with LXDE or XFCE or some of the others initially so that you can install it uh, more lightweight so that your older hardware will run. Or you could do like I do if you have newer hardware, install KDE and then run into, uh, just jump into Synaptic Package Manager and install a variety of other desktop environments so that you can just play around with them or maybe change the look and feel or if you're bored with the same old, same old, just jump into another desktop environment and, and uh, do uh, your computing there for a while. Oh, hey, that's it. Thanks very much for uh, tuning in. Subscribe to my channel. Hope this was helpful for you. More Linux videos coming down the road. Thanks again.